Hello friends, hope you're fine. This is Sina Solpons from Refugee Alliance Ministries in Norway, reminding you to strengthen yourself also this new day. I hope this day is fine for you. I hope that you're in a secure place and that you can remember who you truly are. Don't forget that God made you special for a reason. You are much loved. You don't have to change. You have the perfect personality for you so that you can touch people with, with the, the love of God, with your special touch, your character. Uh, I want to share with you some of the, one of the best memories from last year um, and maybe yeah, one of my top, top moments. It was uh, in the sofa in our tra trauma center in Iraq, Braveheart in Kurdistan, where we have girls who have been released from captivity with ISIS and torture, sex, slavery with them. They have survived, but they are severely hurt and very scared. Now they come to our center and uh, get help. And uh, I was in the sofa giving a massage uh, to a girl sitting on the floor and four other girls were sitting there. And one of them is called M. She was very thin, she's 15 years old, uh, a brilliant girl, but very much hurt. But then she looked at the others and she, like, girls-like said, Girls, if Isis had known that we were here now, they would have cried because now we are strong. And my heart just burst open. Imagine to be there in that moment and to realize that now she feels strong. I know uh, you can just imagine how it was last time when she was with Isis and was not strong but now after some weeks of help uh, she has learned how to value herself again she has learned what to do when she wakes up at night and has nightmares she has learned how to breathe how to help herself she has tools so she doesn't need to fear so much those bad images coming and the bad smells that uh, are reminding her and she knows it wasn't her fault she knows that she is free, that she's a princess, and she knows that the future belongs to her. So uh, it just made me so happy. And I want to say the same thing to, to all of you who are listening. Many of you have experienced terrible things. Maybe someone has hurt you and you thought you were going to die. Uh, maybe you have seen something terrible or something happened to you suddenly and painful and it was so terrible that you thought you were going to die it felt life-threatening that's called a trauma and after that many years after you may feel um, depressed have anxiety or you might be reminded of things like suddenly pictures or smells or coming to you and making you afraid again i'll just tell you or you can have nightmares you can feel guilty uh, but i'll tell you those are symptoms and it's not your fault it was not your fault you know and you can improve you can get better you can be happy again you can p feel peaceful again uh, we are helping uh, women and men who have experienced terrible traumatic things uh, to regain the sense of safety so that they can feel safe so that they can sleep at night because they know that if they have nightmares, they can wake up and help themselves by looking at things, by smelling things, by touching things, by uh, reminding their body that they are here and now. I'm in this moment. Oh, I'm here in my bed. I'm not back there. You know, there are many things that uh, can help you. And uh, ask for help and uh, tell your story to someone. Don't keep the secret. Uh, tell your story. If you don't have anyone you trust, you can of course uh, trust us in Refugee Alliance. But try to find someone near you that you can trust and tell them your story. Uh, cry. Uh, you can grieve. It's allowed. Uh, but just know that then you are starting your healing process. We need to open our hearts a little bit to let the grief and the pain come out so that the healing can start to come in and then your new uh, life recovery starts and you can get 
healed and stronger and feel safe again. The future belongs to you. The future belongs to you. And you know, um, everybody feels who have been sexually abused, especially, they feel it's their fault because they didn't kill that person, they, ki- they didn't shout, they didn't run, they didn't fight. But I just want to let you know that in that moment when it's so life-threatening, the body takes over and it doesn't allow you to think and act normal because the body knows that if it lets you act normal, you would think, you would consider and you would die because thinking takes too long. So then when life-threatening situation like that happens, something deep inside, a system deep inside our brain uh, takes over our body and makes us uh, uh, flight or fight or freeze, play dead. If the body sees that, no, you cannot win this, it just freezes you so that you have better chances of survival. So, um, and uh, af- in that situation, it can keep you alive. So, it was. I just want to let you know that the body is constructed very, very good this way. We have this alarm system inside of our brain that takes over. Imagine if you are in a fire uh, or your your hand touches fire. You don't sit there with your hand in the fire and think, hmm, wonder what I should do now. Maybe someone has written in some books what one should do. No, then you would burn up. So the body just reacts automatically and withdraws your hand. That's the alarm system inside of us. Um, What is painful and it saves us. Our body is beautiful. Our body is intelligent and saves us from danger. Um, what uh, What is painful and tiresome is when all this system of scanning for danger and being aware of danger all the time it takes a lot of our energy afterwards when we have come into safety so uh, we are wishing um, for all of you who have bad experiences that you uh, can teach your body because your brain knows that you are here now you're safe but your body doesn't believe it, that's the problem. So it keeps sending you the signal that there's still danger, you shouldn't, sh- you're not safe, you should not sleep, you cannot relax. When you are in the shower, you, s- you check for danger. Eh? So uh, please uh, tell your body that you are safe. And we do that by grounding by touching the ground and uh, saying at the same time, I'm here now, you have to feel it and you have to touch something, you know, touch, um, touch the ground with your feet and tell yourself, I'm here now, I'm safe. And the past is over. I've, I've cut that bad past and now I'm here and I'm safe. And, um, you know, when we start to get uh, afraid, we start to breathe quickly and then our heart pounds quickly and we lose control. But that's why it's smart to uh, help yourself to breathe slowly. And then hold the breath. And then and then hold. Like control your breathing then your heartbeat will go slower then you can switch from the alarm system to the normal thinking system and if you are able to think not just feel then you will know oh yeah that was 10 years ago actually i'm here now and i'm safe here so um, breathing can help us switch from the alarm system that just acts without thinking to the thinking system where we really know that okay things are better now and i actually have a future well my dears uh, i could speak for four hours like we do in uh, our training sessions about trauma but i will not 
another time we can talk more about this topic i just wanted to encourage you by saying that you can feel strong again it is not your fault speak to someone release some of the pain from your heart and let the healing from god come in he says i will heal your wounds i will heal your wounds and restore you to health he says i will build you up again even on the ruins i will build a strong city and the desert will become like the garden of eden do not fear do not fear his love his love is for you forever and when you're alone you can say Jesus loves me. Just embrace yourself, both hands, and say, Jesus loves me. I know he loves me. There is a lot of dignity and affirmation in that, and he really does. It's not fake. So uh, let me pray for you. And the future belongs to you. There is much hope, my dear. Father, I thank you for your love that restores and heals other, our broken hearts. And for those who are listening now, I ask, Lord, come into their hearts with your peace. Come and restore and heal the broken hearts. Restore hope, Lord. Come with your comfort. Come with your balm over every wound. I ask for every person who watches that you, Lord, will come with your love and heal their hearts and open their eyes so that they can see themselves with your eyes as beautiful as worthy and to see the good future you have for them. Whisper into their hearts, Lord, and I ask and I release your peace over them. Let your peace be with them. Peace in their hearts, in their bodies, in their feelings in their future. I thank you, Jesus, that these are not just words, but power, and I thank you for it. And I ask that you release it. In Jesus' name, Amen. Yes, my dear friend, this was an important message. You can share it with others whom you think would need also this encouragement. And it's true. It's not over. Better times are coming. And you are not alone. You're not going through this time alone. Since you're watching, we are connected. We are together. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.